Hey guys, okay, today we're gonna do a review on this knife. If you're gonna have a look on the blade, on this side, it says Columbia. Or Columbia. Now this knife I've got for around two years now. Let me tell you what's good about it, what's bad about it, and maybe that's gonna help you if you want to purchase this knife. Firstly, if you're gonna have a look there, it looks like the American flag. So you imagine that this thing is made in the USA. Well, it's not. I did some research, it's all made in China. They just have this as a logo, so it is not made in America. So the specific one I have is the SA35. This is the model number of this one. So as you can see, it's got the wooden handle. If you have a look over here, it's full tang all the way through. And if you're gonna put it like this, this is a really big knife. So, what do I like about it? First off, it was a cheap knife. Well, it's a big knife and for the price, you won't get much better than this, I would assume, but when it comes to quality, it's not all on point. You can see this is after two years of use. Over there, it is a little bit pulling apart the wood from the metal. It's not like it's gonna hurt you or anything, but it's pulling apart a little bit over there, even on this side. And then you'll see there is a small crack over there that formed when we were, um, I think maybe it was in the sun a little while and then the crack formed. But either way, it is still tight in the hand, doesn't give any issues. Then the blade, it is extremely sharp, as you can hear there. The thing is, we were using this for hunting. For hunting, it's alright. I don't want to cut straight, you first want to stick the point into the neck and then cut from the inside. Then, it's, then it will cut alright. But if you just want to cut, maybe if you cut, uh, shoot a pig or a hog or something like that, you're going to struggle to cut through the skin with this one. That's why you first stick it through the uh, skin and then you cut from the inside, then it's cutting nicely. Then you'll see this point. There is no more point left. It was um, sticking into the ground when we, when we were sitting, the point bent over. When I tried slowly to bend it back, it just snapped off. So that's the only issue I had on the point. And the blade, you may be, like me that use it for hunting, you may be going to use it every time you're going to skin or you're just going to, after you shoot a shot the animal, you want to cut the throat, you're going to cut the throat, clean the blade. If the blade is alright then you leave it for the second one otherwise you need to sharpen it after every one so this metal is alright but it's a bit soft what is nice is this piece over here so when you want to stab it into something it's locking your finger it's got this hole at the back where you can put maybe a linear to a piece of rope or something so that's not too bad and it's nice in the hand this is the sheath they provided as you can see over here I did some repair work Without this top piece, it's, it is secure, but not if you're going to start running and stuff, it's going to come loose. So this piece, it clips over and this piece is the Velcro. So the Velcro is not that good, but this piece, after the first hunt, it tear off. So that's why we um, fixed it over here. But now it doesn't give any issues. It is hanging nicely on the belt. So yeah, this is not a bad knife for the price, but... It's not American made, they're lying to you, it's China made and the quality can improve a bit but for the price it's not bad. But thanks guys for watching the review, please leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more of these videos.